Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th. This is for the sign of Cancer. This is for the basically the first full week of June. I'm going to get two Oracle cards, one from this deck, one from this deck. If they flip over while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now, otherwise we will reveal it at the end. Generally my readings are love readings. If you aren't looking for love, then you probably shouldn't watch this. Okay. Um, generally, these readings will resonate with the people that watch them the most, all right? Sometimes uh, people are called to watch this reading for a reason if you are new. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to book a reading, the information is noted below. This is for the sign of Cancer. first week of June. What does... Oh, look at that. It is reversed, but we're not going to worry about that. It did flip over. So, you know, when it comes out reversed, that kind of sucks. You know, usually readers don't read oracle cards in reversed, and I'm not going to either. But keep that in mind. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for the first week of July? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have already happened. Could it be happening now or it could be happening in the near future. For all you cross watchers who hate cancers, don't put any comments below telling me how much you hate them because you will be blocked. Um, I don't go for any bashing of signs, so just keep the signs out of your comments if you would. I would really appreciate that. This is for the sign of cancer. Drama feeds drama, and I don't, I don't need it. I don't need to even read it, so thank you very much somebody sees drama they feed on it and it gets bigger 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 no mm -mm. that's why I don't allow that well there is some unhappiness here there is so there's an unhappy relationship you know I can't change that there could have been a third party situation there it's threes a crowd right with it is it is so Something something has been completely halted, stalled, delayed, um, and there's somebody is emotionally disappointed. Somebody's going through an emotional disappointment over relationship problems. There are problems in a relationship here, and it could be caused because of another person. There's you know three is absolutely a crowd. You know somebody feels like there is nothing to celebrate here. You know, there's been too much discontent. I mean, there has. And there's somebody is emotionally disappointed by that third party situation. Okay? Three of cups. Three of cups. Three of cups. Somebody is really focused, sad. I can't believe this is happening. But it appears that they have somebody else. Okay? Because over on this side, we have the two of cups. And that's where the true love is. But I know many of you are like, hell no, this person that is I'm thinking about is my true love. And, you know, if there's cheating going on, then I can't say that's true. There you are. There you are. This is about mastering your emotions, taking the lead. You're moving forward very, very quickly towards victory and success. This card is a card of mental strength and transformation. This is also your card. So you guys are probably moving out of this situation. You could be. You could be moving away from this unhappy relationship. Or the third party situation. You could be moving out of it. Because the chariot is moving. There's momentum. Okay. You were dealing with a player. Somebody. Or you're the player. Because it's. I wanted to let you know that all these readings can be vice versa. This can be you or the person you're dealing with. You figure it out. Somebody in this dynamic is a player. They are. 
And right now, there is lack of balance. It's causing chaos. There's, uh, lo there's poor decisions being made. Somebody's feeling overwhelmed by this juggling. This, this is too much. It is. Something's going to, something, one of the balls is going to drop eventually. Put it that way. Some, but some of this was driven by temptation and somebody is about ready to release a toxic situation. I mean, that's what this card is. It's about restoring control. It's in reverse. It's the devil in reverse. It's about releasing the toxic situation. It's about releasing the manipulation, the lies, the obsession, the addictions. It's about letting it go so that you can restore balance and organization back to your life. It's about personal freedom. And you may not see it as personal freedom because there was so much attraction. The devil brings in an undeniable chemical attraction to teach you something. This is also a card of karma. Okay, This karmic debt has been paid. It has, believe it or not. Or you're paying it right now. And I feel like there was some sort of loss, emotional loss, that you're still concentrating on. You are, even though you need to take the next step. You have somebody else, by the way. You do have a partner. There is a partner here. A new, one that will lead to true love. Because we now now this Three of Cups is covered up. Okay? Up here. It's cut Because as, as soon as you stop focusing on the loss, you bury that loss, that new love is going to come. It is. Anyway, but the universe knows if you haven't really let it go. Just saying. Okay? Somebody hasn't really let it go. Son of a bitch, I love it when they do this. This is holding on. The death card reversed is holding on and it's getting old. It's getting old. You haven't completely released it. You may have released this person physically. You may have released them physically. But if you haven't released them emotionally and mentally, then you're still stuck. If you're still resentful, you're still stuck. The Hermit card in reverse is about stepping back, reflecting, taking a time of solitude and introspection to become aware of what's next, what happened, to gain focus, to plan. But this is reversed. So somebody hasn't done that work. And maybe they've started that work or they've done it a little bit, but this is saying that it needs to happen. You need to take this time out. You need to retreat to gather your thoughts and come up with a plan for the future. If this relationship is unhappy, perhaps you need to move on. Somebody is moving on. The hermit reversed is also midlife crisis. Somebody in this dynamic is going through a midlife crisis, whether it's you or the other person. And they're feeling really lonely in this relationship. There is. And I, it's probably you because you're right here. Somebody has felt lonely and that's when they get that wandering eye. Right? Loneliness will make you think about, you know, other things. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's right, but it happens. So... Somebody is releasing the hangman reverse. They are letting go. But you've been sacrificing needlessly. This is about taking the risk. Somebody has decided to stop being stuck. Or they're about to. They're about to. Somebody's about to. I often think of the hangman in reverse as kind of like the fool. Okay, because it, you know, it just reminds me of the fool. Always does when it's in reversed. This is about stepping in on this unknown path with mental strength. Okay, so I think that some of you are contemplating letting go, in which you have been hold, you've been holding on to some toxic connection that was unfortunately it was karmic. Okay, it was. You've been holding on to it, and I feel like you've been sacrificing yourself needlessly for this player. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe you thought it was true love. But I, you have somebody else. Once you free yourself, truly in, you do have somebody. Now that's for the people that are getting out of a situation. For some of you, you know, there's unhappy relationship here. There is. There is. That's the very first card that came out. And there is a third party situation for somebody that's watching this. 
and somebody is is going through a midlife crisis. They really are, and it is it's getting old. It's too I can't. It needs to end, and you've been resisting this ending because it, the devil brought it in, and you it's a karmic lesson, and the only way for you to learn this lesson is to let it end. So, you know, whatever. Is to have faith, to, to stand up for yourself, to stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for a situation that is dead. It's about answering the call. It's about waking up. Waking up. This person that you're hanging on to isn't suited for you. They aren't. Now, I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. I am. I, I don't know who this is. But I feel as though it is time for you to have no fear and to get moving quickly. Quickly get moving. You have an opportunity for something solid, stable, secure, and committed. But right now you're blocking it. You are. Right now you're blocking it by staying in some unhappy situation. Now, this unhappy situation could be in any part of your life. But there is an opportunity for, there is an opportunity for true love here. There is cancer. That is stable, solid, secure, committed. But you have to release the past. This judgment card is about releasing the past. You think about judgment day. What do you do? You go up and you have your judgment day. You really go over your past. It's about And you release it as you're going over it. This is about releasing the past. The, and now again, it's over this five of cups, which is the three of cups right here. And then we, and then look at where I, what I did. Now we only have one cup. Once you release the, once you release the past, you will find the Ace of Cups because there's one cup. You will find that, and the Ace of Cups is true love. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing, huh? But you need to get moving. You need to get moving. There's an opportunity for abundance, prosperity, commitment. But you have to believe in yourself. And you have to listen to your inner guide. You haven't been. You need to listen to your inner guide. You're, you're dealing with somebody that is not suited well for you. They're not. You have somebody that is better suited for you. But look what's on the bottom. I just have Ten of Wands. This is making a conscious change to release these burdens, to drop this baggage, to become free of this heavy weight. It's time to drop it. That's what the card means in reversed. So I feel like this is a week of moving forward very, very quickly. It is moving forward. Moving forward quickly, all these three cards. Get your ass in gear. You're wasting time. And that's what I see. There's an opportunity for true love here. There absolutely is. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Take action towards true love. And that's what I have, Cancer, for the first week of June. Talk to you later.